Hey, Riley, it's Evelyn. Just wanted to make sure I had the right number on my phone. Sometimes I fat finger things and I didn't want to text the wrong person. Evelyn? As in one of the nosy neighbors who just left? Um, yes. Sorry, I, I know that you were in the middle of something when we showed up. I, I just wanted to welcome you to the neighborhood again. You already did that. I'm sorry. There was something we forgot to tell you. You already had 10 minutes of my time. I'm gonna start charging you. Oh, um, I'll be quick. We had problems with porch pirates a couple of years ago. To prevent that, if you go away, just let me know. Or someone else from the neighborhood. We'll come, get your mail, and put your packages inside. That way they don't get stolen. So you want me telling you when I'm leaving? This sounds like a power trip to me. No! It was just lots of packages were stolen. That's how we stopped it. Your house is a lot farther from the road, but since it's practically a mansion, it's bound to attract attention. You are one nosy old woman. I don't need any of you guys coming on my property. Uh, okay, well, good luck. Don't contact me again. Hi, Evelyn. I just saw you walk past my window and you looked really down. Is everything okay? I was just part of the welcome wagon that met up with the new neighbor. He was a bit less than friendly. What do you mean? Well, I tried to tell him about the porch pirates and how we prevented that. He was a bit rude when I tried to offer to bring his packages in when he's gone. I'm sorry that happened. It might be best that you avoid him going forward. What if he needs help? I'm pretty sure that he's one of those who's accustomed to taking and isn't willing to give. He'll never be thankful. And the more you do for him, the more entitled he will get. You're too young to be so jaded. I've known far too many people like him. Believe me, before I went no contact with my family, I was surrounded by spoiled brats like him. My parents tried to marry me off to a couple of guys like him. Is that even something that people still do? In a few very backward social structures, yes. That's awful. Considering a lot of people in those classes have the same mindset, it's probably for the best. They believe that they need to protect themselves. You aren't like that. No, but I'm the exception more than the rule. It's not all of them, but given how he treated you when you tried to help, well, it's pretty easy to predict his attitude. Maybe you should be the one to talk to him. Only if I have to. If he realizes who I am, ugh, I would rather not think about it. He'll hit on you, huh? Maybe. I'm actually more worried that he'll let other people in our social circle know where I am. Oh, I understand. I won't tell him then. Thanks. And I'm sorry that he treated you poorly. If you give me 30 minutes, I can go with you and the kids to the park. Get a few lattes so we can talk while they play. That sounds great. Great, see you in a bit. Hi, Riley. It's Evelyn. Do you think you could have your friends park in your driveway? Currently, we can't get out to take the kids to school. That's not my problem. But they're your friends. You guys were very loud last night. Now you're making it impossible for us to go about our daily business. I don't know what you want me to do about it. I would like for you to please ask your friends to move their cars so we can get out of our driveways. No, I won't do anything of the sort. Uh, but there are ordinances that make it illegal to block people in their driveways. Sounds like your problem. Uh, I hate to threaten, but if you aren't willing to move the cars, I'm gonna have to call the non-emergency number. We really can't get out of the driveway. <laughs> Go right ahead and call the police. They aren't gonna do much. Okay, if you really won't do anything, I guess we don't have much choice. You lower class people, always so jealous of those who have money. What does money have to do with anything? Uh, everything. You're jealous, so you're trying to punish me because I'm rich. No, we seriously are unable to leave. How would you feel if someone made it so that you couldn't leave your home? No one would dare do that to me. 
That's why you're jealous. Now stop bothering me. I don't have time for your petty complaints. Riley, it's your neighbor, Brielle. We haven't met, but I have definitely heard about you. Oh good, another nosy neighbor. Look, I pay for my place with good money. Stop harassing me. This is how I live, and you guys just need to learn to deal with it. Oh honey, I am dealing with it. Which leads me to why I'm texting you. I'm only going to ask this once. Thank God. I'm gonna hold you to that. Were you the person who dumped a whole lot of garbage on the Henderson's front yard? <laughs> I don't know who did it, but it's hilarious. Those two have taken up some of the parking spaces with their service vehicles. It's time someone showed them what kind of inconvenience they're causing everyone. That couple is nearly 80 years old. They only need help once a week. And unlike the hooligans you invite over who block in half the neighborhood, the service vehicle doesn't block you in. All it does is make you have to drive more carefully. It's an inconvenience that I don't have to deal with. I can't be late to the board meetings. Oh, boo-hoo. You're gonna cry because you have to drive the speed limit. Oh, look, you bitch. I'm not gonna fight with you about this. No, you aren't, because you're gonna take care of the garbage you had dumped on their property. Then the old farts should move into a home instead of making life difficult for everyone else. Oh. They're able to do most things for themselves. It's only when they need to go places that they request services. If they cause that kind of inconvenience to everyone else, they should be somewhere that has other people who cause just as much of a problem. No one else has a problem with them. In fact, people like the fact that you actually have to slow down with them here. Well, I'm the person who matters the most. The rest of you beggars just need to learn to deal with it. And I didn't want to throw trash in front of their house. You're the one who's making accusations. It sounds like you did it. What? That doesn't even make sense. It makes as much sense as you accusing me. Both the Hendersons have a camera, and I have video surveillance. It looks like your truck outside of their house. Oh, uh, if that's the case, why don't you give it to the cops? <laughs> because I already know you've been paying them off. <laughs> oh, you may have a bit of a brain. That's shocking. Keep it up, Riley. And you're going to be finding it a lot harder to enjoy living here. Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots. <laughs> Such an infantile child. Riley, I need you to keep the volume of your party down. My kids have the flu and they can't sleep with how loud it is. That sounds like a you problem, Emily. My name is Evelyn. <sighs> Whatever, Karen. Please, I'm not asking for you to stop partying or anything, just please keep it down. Ugh, why do people like you and your husband have children if you can't give them a better environment? What are you talking about? We lived here without having these kinds of problems before you. This has nothing to do with money. Of course it does. My parents never had to worry about the neighbors being too loud. Because they had us in a house that was soundproofed. That shouldn't be necessary. There are noise restrictions and other things that are supposed to keep the noise levels down. It's not like that would work if you live near an airport. We don't live near anything like that. Well, it's the same thing. You live near a successful rich guy. You can't expect me to change my lifestyle just because you have sick children. I'm not asking you to change your lifestyle. I'm asking you to keep the noise down. Same thing. No, it isn't. It's not even remotely the same. Ugh, whatever, old woman. I just feel bad for your kids. They'll grow up with a couple of worthless parents who put off parenting on other people. Seriously, people like you should not be procreating. I'm not asking you to parent any of my children. All I'm asking you to do is turn the music down. If it bothers you that much, just go to the cops. <laughs> How much are you paying them to leave you alone? Oh... <laughs> I guess word has gotten around the neighborhood. Sorry, but it's not gonna change. It's so great being rich. How much? Why? Are you gonna try to outpay me? Maybe. Any cop who comes to my house gets at least $10,000 to leave me alone. You give the cops $10,000 per cop per visit? That's insane! Mm, 
That's what happens when you have enough money to take care of your family. Now, if you don't mind, I have a party to get back to. I don't have time for poor people who have nothing but time to complain about being modern-day peasants. <laughs> How can you be so cruel? The kids are sick, but Riley's still partying over there. Do you have any advice for how to get him to behave? I'm at my wit's end, and Dan is threatening to go over there to teach him a lesson. You have to get Dan to see reason. If he goes over there, it's not going to work out well for you guys. I know. That's what I've been trying to tell him, but after a couple of months of this, we don't have many options. About the only thing we can think of is moving. No, you can't leave. That will make him feel like he's won. It will only get worse after that. I don't know if we can keep living here. We can't afford for Dan to get arrested. Have you tried the police again? A lot of them have kids, so they may help. That boy gives them at least 10 grand per cop. There's no chance that they'll tell him to turn his music down if it means losing that much money. Hmm. How do you know that he pays that much? He told me. I was thinking there would be some way to use that. But between not getting enough sleep and the kids being sick, I just can't think properly. How did he tell you? Did you record it? He actually texted me. There was no chance he was going to answer the phone with his friends around. And with all of the trash all over his yard and driveway, I wasn't about to risk injury trying to talk to him in person. He was dumb enough to text you? <laughs> I want to say that's surprising, but idiots like that just don't ever think the rules apply to them. You used to deal with people like that? Oh yeah, my parents tried to marry off to guys like that. There's a reason I'm no contact with them. I'm so sorry. Oh, we love having you around. The kids think of you as an auntie. Oh, that's so sweet. But for now, we need to focus on dealing with Riley. Because if you guys end up moving, they'll lose their auntie for most of the time. That would be letting him win. I know a few people who may be able to help. All of his money comes from his parents. It won't take me long to research a bit about them. In the meantime, send over the documentation from all of the encounters. Why? People in our social circle really care about appearances. If he's going to pay off the police, then we'll have to take this to the people who can force him to behave. Who is that? His parents. Don't worry about anything, though. What I have planned is entirely legal. Okay, I trust you. I'll send you what I have. Great. This may take a bit, but it will eventually work. Do you know how long it will take? No, it could take up to a month, but after that I can assure you that spoiled boy won't be a problem. Is there anything else you need me to do? Everyone in the neighborhood loves you. See if you can call them all together for a meeting. What about the homeowners association? Oh my goodness, how has no one thought to go to them? Dan and I have gone to them, but Riley's been paying them off. I may not be thinking at my best, but if we can remove support from several sides, I think we'll overwhelm him. That's ingenious! Yeah! See what you can do. He'll have a hard time taking on everyone. Is it horrible that I'm feeling good about seeing him miserable for a change? Not at all. I think everyone in the neighborhood is going to be ecstatic, especially if we get him to leave. I'm not trying to drive him out of his home, I just want him to be a half-decent human. <laughs> that is an unrealistic hope. We can't make him decent. But we can definitely make him regret what he's done. I feel so torn. I mean, I hate making someone feel unwelcome. At the same time, we can't keep living like this. Don't worry about it, Evelyn. I'll take care of everything. You just get people together for a meeting, then let me know when the meeting is. And don't forget to send all of the documentation. After that, just sit back and wait for things to go back to normal. Who would have thought that we would miss the Millers? <laughs> I know. The sound of four-wheelers and torn yards doesn't seem nearly so bad after everything Riley's done. And he's just one person? Welcome to the kind of entitlement I grew up with. Don't worry. Try to relax and know that things will get better within the month. Thank you so much, Brielle. You don't need to thank me. I've been just as unhappy with him as you. It hasn't affected me as much since I've been traveling. I wish I had done something sooner. We all should have. You guys haven't moved yet, so it's not too late. Uh, that's true. Take care and stay safe. Will do. And Evelyn, when this is over, 
Let's have a nice neighborhood party. Sounds good to me. You teach him a lesson and I'll plan the party. Now that's a great plan. What have you been posting about me? Hi, Riley. I don't know what you're talking about. The social media posts. My father keeps telling me that I'm ruining his business. You have to take those down now. I don't have social media. Oh, don't lie to me. All of the information came from you. The stuff that's posted are problems I've had with you. <laughs> I guess the small brain boy finally figured it out. Oh, by the way, Evelyn's children have gotten better. It's so kind of you to ask. I don't care about them. You're ruining my life. You did everything that is being exposed. Since we couldn't get the cops or homeowner association to take care of the problems you caused, we decided to get someone involved who would. It was a genius plan. Just wish I would have thought of it before. His business has been losing millions since the post went viral. If you don't take them down, I'll sue you for slander or libel. I'm going to call your bluff. It's not a bluff. I'll get my lawyers involved if you don't do what I say. Unfortunately for you, we have proof of everything. Then you clearly filmed me without my permission, and that's illegal. Actually, all of the footage is from things like security cameras and body cams. B body cams? Yeah. The police took your money, but once there was evidence that you were paying them, they were quick to provide the footage from when they talked to you. It's funny that they were foolish enough to get that on film. Then again, if they took money from you instead of enforcing the law like they're paid to do, well, it's not a surprise that they didn't think about their jobs first. That is libel. That never happened. You admitted to it in a text. I it was a joke. Sure. A, a joke? That was caught on film? I admit it was quite impressive just how much you gave a couple of them. I didn't realize just how many people were calling the cops on you. It's really getting some of the people with the homeowner association in a lot of trouble, too. How am I supposed to deal with all of this? Are you trying to drive me out of my home? We're trying to get you to act like a decent human being, even if it is only the bare minimum. If you don't want to do that, well, I guess leaving is your best option. I'm going to get even with you. You can't do this to me. I have money. Not for much longer. What's that supposed to mean? Have you not seen what the posts have done to your daddy's stocks? Consider that my gift to you. No! You have to take it down. You have to tell everyone that it was a lie. Take responsibility for ruining my life. I'll tell you what, Riley. I'll call your father and we'll talk to him about resolving this. Thank you. I'm too afraid to answer his calls. Aw, oh, you poor thing. I'll make sure everything's taken care of. I did call his father and told him who I was. He was surprised to learn that I had anything to do with his son. Then I explained that I was one of the neighbors who had to deal with his son and the corrupt cops in the area. He was mad at first, but I told him there was a way for both of us to get what we wanted. After recommending a few older women who would make good matches for Riley, his father thanked me. When he found out that his father was marrying him off to a woman 15 years older than him, Riley panicked. He left his house in a hurry. We were shocked to see just how much damage he had done to the place. The pool was cracked, he had started trying to add a small cottage behind the house, and they had nearly destroyed the inside. The carpets were ruined, the rugs were torn, and the walls looked like someone had been taking a sledgehammer to them. It was clear that his father was not going to make a profit on getting rid of the place. Eventually, he found his son, and he was forced to marry a woman nearly 15 years his senior. Someone who could control him, mostly because Riley was financially ruined. <laughs> Marrying was the only way Riley was ever going to get any money from his father after what he did. And he would only get the money after his father and mother died. Since he was kicked off his father's company's board, the marriage was Riley's only way to stay in the lap of luxury. It's nice to think that he's probably quite miserable since there are no parties beyond dinner parties hosted by his wife. Most of his friends left him because they were only interested in the wild parties he used to throw. Without that, they didn't want him around. The police who took money from him were all fired. 
Hopefully they didn't blow all of the money he gave them all in one place because there was a large enough scandal that they won't be able to get a job at any of the stations for miles. Hopefully the other police will learn from the mistakes of the others. There were a few officers in lower positions who were overridden by their superiors. They got promotions after they proved that they didn't keep the money they were given. A new family bought the place, and boy did they have a time fixing up all of the damage Riley did to the property. Evelyn's kids love to play with theirs, and there is a real welcoming vibe to the neighborhood now. I ended up talking to my parents. When they learned how I made our family look good and took Riley's family down, they were willing to put up with my strange lifestyle. We aren't close, but we are at least on talking terms. They even seem proud of me when we go out since people have started to recognize my skills in social media. I don't want my own channel or anything, but I love being behind the scenes, helping to do PR for people who need it, for better or worse. Best of all, I now live in a dream community, and that dream is no longer a nightmare.